Fish are price people. Me and my best friend played with them till we were 11, which was way too old. And then for my birthday, he got me this one, and I had to hide it because I didn't want the other kids at the party to see it and find out I played with baby toys. So then my best friend was all, hey, show everyone the gift I got you. And I was like, uh, I think my mom put it away. I don't know where it is. And then later this kid found it and he was like, uh, who got you the baby toy? And I was like, um, I think that's for my little baby cousin. And I didn't even have a baby cousin. I always liked how pleasingly they fit into their little cars. I still have my pond puppy after 30 years. Oh my God, 30 years? I'm so old. That means he's 210 in dog years. I couldn't really abandon him after I rescued him from the pound. Actually, my sister rescued him from Leechmere and gave him to me for Christmas. His name is Fletcher. I named him after Angela Lansbury's character in the TV show Murder, She Wrote. Because that's a normal thing for an 11-year-old to do, right? This is my original Rubik's Cube I got in 1982. And this is what happens when you try to cheat and peel all the stickers off. Why did I even save this? But I hated the Rubik's Cube because it was too hard. Who remembers my favorite? The snake. I could also make the dog. I was also obsessed with anything that had to do with Pac-Man. So check it out. I have this Pac-Man bank, but I don't think it looks like Pac-Man at all. In fact, it looks exactly like the 70s board game Mr. Mouth. See, look. I think they made it as a Mr. Mouth bank, and then when Pac-Man came along, they decided to capitalize off the popularity, so they just slapped the word Pac-Man on it and said it was a Pac-Man bank. But it is clearly Mr. Mouth. It works kind of cool, though. You take a coin, and you put it in this orange lever, and... Pretty cool. Okay, we got Smurfs, Care Bears, and Fraggles. But how many people remember clown arounds? They were like Smurfs, only clowns. And they scared the hell out of me. Boober, Red, Moki, Good Luck Bear, Bedtime Bear, Beer Smurf, Vanity Smurf. I always liked this Smurf because he's drinking beer. And it's not any other drink because in the Smurf catalog, he was actually labeled as Beer Smurf. <laughs> That would not happen in this day and age. Okay, everybody remembers Snoopy and Boy George, but how many people have a Snoopy dressed like Boy George? Only me. No, probably a whole bunch of people, but it's still pretty rare. For some odd reason, a toy company actually made Snoopy dressed like Boy George, with the Culture Club tie, his color by numbers shirt, his hat comes off, and it's got the braids in it, but yeah. They made a Boy George Snoopy. They also made a Mr. T Snoopy. I guess that would be for boys. And the Boy George one would probably be for girls because if they made like a Madonna Snoopy, parents might complain that Snoopy's dressed like a girl or Snoopy's cross-dressing. I don't know. But they made a Boy George Snoopy and a Mr. T Snoopy. And of course, I have the Boy George Snoopy because it's awesome. And then we have Naked Strawberry Shortcake that smells like mildew and strawberry, ugh. Uh, garbage pill kid that does this. Oh my God, he worked like five minutes ago. He used to light up and make a bomb sound. He did that five minutes ago, suddenly he's not working. And he's actually from the 2000s. He was bought only 10 years ago, but it represents the 80s. A wind up ET and Playmobil. I was obsessed with Playmobil. I'm still trying to make this thing work. It's not supposed to sound like that. Oh well, now he's possessed. But did anyone else have these weird Fisher-Price people knockoffs? They were like Fisher-Price people, only square. They came with a McDonald's playset, and that's why they're wearing little McDonald's uniforms. But when you look at them, they're really creepy because they look like they're up to something. They didn't, they didn't fit as pleasingly into their cars as Fisher-Price people. Here's some Transformers. This is Cosmos. 
He's a flying saucer. I don't remember them going into space a lot back then, so I don't know what the point of him is, but... There's Cosmos. Let's see if he's a Decepticon or an Autobot. You're supposed to rub this black spot, and it will reveal which one he is. Uh, he's an Autobot. See? This one's Scrapper. He actually turns into a robot, and then you can connect all the robots in the Constructicon collection into one big robot. And that's what he looks like as a robot. And I think he's a Decepticon. I don't know. And this is just a transformable robot. It's a Transformers knockoff. And he just does this. I guess they didn't know what to do with the legs, so they're just pretty much, he's a car with legs sticking out of it. I also have a Transformer watch, see? These things were the best, because if you were bored in school, you could just take it off and transform it. And then you had a little robot to play with until your teacher caught you and took it away for the rest of the year. On the weird side of the 80s, McDonald's thought kids would love playing with Chicken McNugget figurines with interchangeable hats. Look, this one's a drum major. I actually thought these things were really cute, though. <laughs> but later they got even weirder with this croissant sandwich car. I don't know how fun it was to play with a croissant sandwich car, but... we. If anybody needs to know the time, I've got a swatch. That one was my favorite. I still wear these out in public sometimes, and younger kids still look at me funny and say, why are you wearing a plastic watch meant for a five-year-old girl? I have stopped telling them that back in the 80s, even grown men wore watches like this because they don't believe me or they tell me that the 80s sucked. Okay, so here are a few of my Star Wars figurines, and everyone's probably gonna hate me, but I really had little to no interest in Star Wars back then. I saw the movies, I thought they were pretty cool, but other than that, I really didn't have any interest in playing with the toys because I was more obsessed with Smurfs. So that was my big thing back in the early 80s. I loved Smurfs. But I did used to have Luke and Leia and the rest of the gang come over to the Smurf village and hang out with the Smurfs and they'd be all like, hey Papa Smurf, can we go Smurf berry picking with you? Oh, let's go like defeat Gargamel. Yeah, cool, yay. Like, that's literally how I used to play with Star Wars figures. I'd have them go visit the Smurf village. Here's some pullback racers and another fake Transformer. Here's an awesome Batmobile that does this. It's actually from the 90s, so I kind of cheated with that one. To end this video, I'm gonna play a little game of numbers up. That sucked. I only got up to six. 